All right, continuing on, see a group of zombies gonna run over here and put some foot in the ass. As you can see, the combat here in the Seeker world is a little easy. Um, just simple circle strafing kills pretty much everything AoE cone. The shotgun, as far as I'm concerned, is a little bit overpowered, so you can't really judge everything by that. All right, so let's run back over that area, see if I can keep doing these suffocated miners thing. Got to get through this little field of Wendingo. See how tough those guys are. Now, if you can see, the yellow, no idea what it means, but I'm pretty sure it's some kind of a conning system in this game. And this is the entire game. Bottom right-hand corner, you'll see me charging up to five, hit three. Max damage with charges, hit number two, special ability that wastes the charges, and then build back charges again. This is all the combat in the Seeker world. Throwing on my little shield, number three, number two, and then back to building charges. Not very complicated, but maybe at higher levels, different. Run up, get my loots, and continue moving on. Now, this beta is very, very limited. There's not a whole lot that I can do with it. Can't PvP, can't get so many abilities, um, and I don't believe we can leave King's Mouth, but I think that's for all of the beta. All right, more Suffocated Miners. Now, my number five ability has the max range on anything that I can do. So, get out to max distance, hit five. And start doing the same thing. Oh, look at me. Running, 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 building charges. Number three. Bam, number two. And then uh, throw a shield on for good measure. Two, three, four, five. Number three. Number two. And I'm winning the game. Look at me, super genius. When you're out of combat, you uh, regenerate health at a decent rate. So I'm going to sit here and get my health back up. I could drink all of these different sodas and energy drinks and such that I can get. I don't know if there's a way of hotkeying these. There doesn't appear to be anywhere that you can put them. So for now, I'm just going to be putting them in... Oh, let's see what this does, actually. Energy drink. Energy drink. And then I hit, I uh, nope, doesn't put it out. Let's lock this, see what that does. Oh, there we go. Look at me being a genius of some kind. All right, so we're just going to hang this out over here under the quest in case I need some emergency help. Going back off to ad nauseum repeat. Not a very complicated combat game. Graphics are still pretty decent. But after playing a weekend full of Guild Wars 2, there's a huge difference between the combat. I right, had to pop one of these, check out the cooldown. It's a minute 30 on the cooldown for those. All right, next we pull, I'm going to try face tanking and see if that makes a difference whatsoever. I could just be running around like a chicken for no particular reason. So far, the quests aren't very difficult. Sometimes I'll run up and I'll die, but that's because I wasn't properly prepared. But once you figure out the pattern, it's like any other PvE in the history of the universe. Once you know the pattern, it's all easy after that.
know, it doesn't appear to be that much of a difference. Probably a couple of health that I got instead, but uh, for now, that's good enough for me. Alright guys, there you go. That's an example of combat in the secret world using shotgun and blood magic.